Hello and welcome anyone watching on youtube.com slash Teddy Chineris. This is The Falcon and Winter Soldier, right? Isn't it The Falcon and the Winter Soldier? I think so. Uh, I am live over on my channel. I just finished watching episode one with my chat here. I got Dragons and Melty and some other people here in the chat. And uh, we're going to have a little discussion. We're going to talk about the uh, about the episode. And I want to get my thoughts on uh, how... How, how I felt about it, you know, but let me see dragons is talking here I want to catch up on the chat here real quick. He's talking about how uh, the new guy. So this is complete and total actually Yeah, yeah complete and total spoilers review reactions Complete spoilers. He's talking about how the uh, the guy at the end revealed to be the new captain America uh the, uh, he's talking about him and he was saying he was hoping that the new guy there is actually good and not typical like idiot or evil said because if he's good they're gonna have to be creative and make the audience like him and he probably sacrifices himself or something but if he's bad it's gonna be a throwaway character um the new guy winked at us pog champ oh my god it's just way too easy to make him evil or stupid if they do make him evil you better kick ass though be the only thing that can make him interesting but like He's not necessarily a throwaway character if he is uh, evil, right? Like, if he's evil, I feel like that's going to be... I feel like both of those are predictable. You know what I mean? I don't know what you would do with him to make him super interesting, if at all. Both of those are predictable. Like, good being good and then like oh he's good and like oh he's kind of just a dork he's kind of just a doofus who didn't really want this but they forced it on him oh and then he sacrifices himself in the end that feels predictable too you know what i mean but uh dude okay overall thoughts everyone in chat and myself uh what did you guys think of it everyone in the comments as well on the youtube video let me know what you thought of episode one i really liked it I really fucking liked it, honestly. Like, it is exactly what I thought it would be so far, and I was fucking ready for that. I was so, so goddamn ready for exactly what that was. Like, it started off with a fucking fight scene, and then the rest of it was literally... I liked it too? Hell yeah, good. Uh, the rest of it was literally, like, Sam and Bucky, like, living their lives, and, like... Oh my god, it was a lot more, like, slice of life than I thought it would be. Like, they were a lot more kind of just out doing their thing. They didn't throw us in immediately to, like, the the villain or whatever the fuck, the Zemo guy or whatever. Like, oh, here, at, by the end of episode one, Bucky and Sam, fucking Winter Soldier and Falcon teamed up out ready to kick some ass. You know what I mean? They started it very literally just, this is where they are after Endgame, which I fucking love. Like, honestly, it is the first, like, I said this while we were watching, um, which is going to be a new thing, by the way. If you enjoy this reaction, uh, you can stop by and watch it with us live Thursday nights at 2 a.m. I'm going to be doing this each week, uh, uploading this the next day as well. Um, but we'll be watching it together, so you can stop by next week if you want to watch episode two. Um, Twitch.tv slash Teddy Chineris. But as we were watching, I was saying this. It feels, I know that it's not necessarily, but it feels very much like the first meaningful, real continuation of the timeline of our characters that we are familiar with after Endgame. Which, like, think about it. When did Endgame come out? Like, what year was that? That was 2019. That was two years ago. That was two fucking years ago. <laughs> like, and this is the first real continuation, so I tried. What, what did you try? Um, I can't. Okay. Sorry. Uh, it started with Iron Man. Oh, my God. Yeah, we started and Dragons made a joke about how it's Iron Man and he's doing the because he was ironing clothes. Oh, I tried sleep. Okay, well, right now we're recording the reactions to falcon and winter soldier so if you don't want to be spoiled that's the thing that's going to happen but i was just talking about how this feels like the first real continuation of the timeline since endgame and that's fucking awesome like i know that technically far from home was that as well but like not really <laughs> like they did not deal with that in a real meaningful way 
Um, they dealt with it a little, a little bit. They really touched on it, but this is the first, like, Far From Home touched on the effects of that, like, just briefly of, like, this is kind of where we're at. And then this is literally like, oh, here is the world, and now we have to go forward from that. Like, WandaVision was very much its own fucking thing. It is definitely setting up the future, but it is very much its own thing. It's not necessarily, like, the characters that we know. Like, I mean, it started off, like, fucking I Love Lucy. Like, it's not a continuation of the MCU. It leads to the future of the MCU, but it's not, like, the continuation, like, right there. Here we go. You know what I mean? And that's what this was. Like, seeing Bucky and Falcon, like, at the end, instilling the new Captain America. Like, this is a, a continuation. Like, dealing more with the blip and whatnot was is is awesome. I am so happy with what they're doing here. It was, though, they went really deep on Peter missing Tony. Yeah, for sure. But I feel like that was, like, that was, like, the introduction to the new world after the blip. And this is like, okay, now we're going. You know what I mean? He said, I love Lucy like he's watched a single episode. I have. Thank you very much. I actually have. I've seen plenty of I Love Lucy when I was a kid. I did not see, like, WandaVision is based off, like, the first episode's like, I Love Lucy. Second one's like, I don't know. They went through, like, 70s. And then one of them's supposed to be, like, growing pains or something. Like that. I've never seen that. Like, uh, most of the other ones I have not seen of, like, eras that it's supposed to be for. But I, I've seen I Love Lucy. I, I used to see the, um, I used to watch the, what's the one? Fucking hell, let me find it. When was this? When I was, uh, this looks like the 70s, I think? Yeah, yeah, the 70s, I guess. My my parents, I used to watch the Bob Newhart show, which was a thing that my parents had. Um, but yeah, WandaVision was great. But fucking, this feels like a real fucking continuation. I'm very happy about that. I will say the other thing that I want to point out as to why I'm enjoying this is the, I just in general enjoy TV more than movies. I like the progression that you see with characters. I like to see, like, I like to have that time with them. Um, so having, and I love the MCU, so having this time with Bucky and Sam, like, alone, just those two already having one episode of, like, this sort of extra time where you can breathe, they can literally just live, is so awesome. I love that so much. Like, I really liked Bucky's story with him. Like, at first I thought he was just hanging out with the dude just because he, like, met him or whatever, but now it's it's very clear by the end of the episode he's one of the dudes that he's trying to, like, make amends with. But, like, I like that he's hanging out with him like a buddy because, like, Bucky would hang out with really old people because <laughs> he's, a, what did he say, 102? 106, I think? Uh, like, Bucky's 106 years old or whatever the fuck, so he would absolutely hang out with super old people. <laughs> I thought that was cool. I thought the make amends bit was awesome. I thought the bit with the therapist was really great. Um, like, I really liked Bucky's story. Honestly, more than Sam's. Um, I really enjoyed seeing Sam very clearly be him, be more of like a version of him that we did not, that we did see in the movies, but did not necessarily get the time to shine. I don't know. I'm just loving having the time with them. So those are my overall general thoughts of episode one. I am excited to see more. I love the format and I like where we are going in the timeline and a lot of the potential that th that is here. Um, but let me look through my notes here and see if there are any other things I wanted to point out just from the start because I did make notes because I'm insane person that makes notes for everything I watch. I have literally multiple pages of notes for Superman and Lois. <laughs> Will I ever make anything out of that? I don't know. I don't know. Probably not. But I have notes for it. Uh, but let's see. I liked the immediate connection to Endgame at the beginning of this episode where, Sam, uh, you hear old Steve from the end of Endgame. Like, they have that audio. Oh, that was great. And then immediately start with a fight scene with Sam in the sky. Thought that was really cool. Uh, let's see. 
thought there were a lot of really cool moments there. I do, this is one small thing I wanted to note. At the end of, or at the beginning of the episode, where Sam gives over the shield to the government, right? And Rhodey is there. I really liked that one of the things that I really loved from Infinity War and Endgame is like Sam and Rhodey having this friendship and they're continuing it here. I thought that was awesome. Like it's such a small little detail in uh, Infinity War specifically. Um, and like, I guess it is technically just Infinity War. Uh, and I loved that. And they they were continuing it in here. Like I did not expect to see Don Cheadle, but I really liked that. I thought that was great. Uh, let me see other notes. I thought the th the therapist seemed like an asshole. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Let's see. Yeah, I wrote. I love dealing with the actual aftermath of Bucky's life. Of literally, like the line of him saying he's gone from one fight to another for ninety years. Like he said, he had a little bit of calm in Wakanda, and that's it. And uh, when the therapist was like, what do you want? This is when I was like, I love that they're doing this as a show. Like, you can never fucking do this as a movie. Like, taking the time to be like, what do you want? And him to be like, I have no fucking idea. And that makes sense. He would have no fucking idea what he wants. He's literally just fought, like, almost his entire life. Like, I, I think this is very cool of him just living, like, him going on a date. I thought that was awesome. I really liked that. And then let's see. Uh, yeah, no, not too many other notes other than I just thought the moment where Bucky stopped the ca like the cat paw was doing this and him stopping it, I thought was fucking hilarious. <laughs> I don't know why, but I thought it was really funny. So that's another bit that I wanted to note in here. But yeah, those are my brief. I'm going to try and keep these around 10 minutes so I can just give an initial reaction review uh, real quick throw it up on YouTube uh, so that you guys can see my opinions. And if you want to watch the episodes with us, we will be watching them every Thursday night on twitch.tv slash Teddy Chineris at 2 a.m. Central. And you can stop by and then you can be in here live uh, while I record this as well and give your opinions. Uh, I hope you guys liked the episode. Melty said he liked it. Aria hadn't watched it. Uh, Dragons. Dragons, I think, liked it as well. Hell yeah. Feels good, man, dude. Feels good. This is weird. YouTube Teddy is weird. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It is what it is, man. I I like YouTube Teddy. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to sign off of the YouTube video. Yeah, you can join us every Thursday at 2 a.m. Twitch.tv slash Teddy Chineris.